Today I want to talk about how you can turn your border around an element into a linear gradient. So if I wanted to have a border around something that was a gradient value, how would I do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take this element that has a border on it, we're going to turn this border transparent and then position behind it another part of it. So we're going to use the before or after pseudo element and position that behind our element, make it the exact same size, and then only reveal this five pixel area around here so that the border, although the gradient is going to go from here all the way across, we're only going to see the few pixels here and here and here and here. So that's what we're going to do. Now let's take a look at the code that we've got. So right now I'm just using display flex to center it. Uh, nothing having to do with the gradient in there, just positioning. With the HTML we've got a div, gave it a class, and then there's my content inside of it. So we're going to say this thing is 400 pixels across. Uh, I've got some padding that's going to go around the paragraph that's inside of here. And I need to use position relative so that when I add the pseudo element, what I'm going to get is something that is positioned relative to wherever this box is, wherever this div is on the page. So let's open it up. I've got some base starter styles here. And here's my linear gradient. I just arbitrarily picked two colors. So I'm going to go from the right, or sorry, from the left over to the right on this element. There we go. Here is my linear gradient. And I'm going to get rid of the border that is outside here by turning it from gold into transparent. So that's going to be the area where I reveal this. So we'll set that to transparent. There we go. Now I don't have the gold, but what I do have is a little area which is going to reveal this gradient around. Now right now this is covering all the content. That's what you get when you put an absolute element absolutely positioned element inside of a relatively positioned element, it's going to automatically say, okay, well, I'm supposed to sit on top of this because I'm position absolute. So what can we do with that? Well, we can start by saying the Z index on this is going to be negative one. So it's going to go in behind. If you're wondering, that was uh, just some thunder <laughs> nearby. Um, there we go. So there's the content. There's my gradient in behind. Now I don't want to see just this gradient. I want to have my own background color. So I'm going to set background color on the box itself, not the before element, but on the box. So up here, I've got color, which is set to white. That's the text, but the background color, let's just make that black. There we go. So now I have a black background on the box. In behind that, we have that linear gradient, but I want to reveal just that little piece. We can actually use box sizing combined with a background clip to fix this. So we're going to say our box sizing, and that's going to refer to this part right here. We're going to set that to border box. So the whole dimensions, 400 pixels, that is going to be the content and the padding and the border all together 400 pixels across. And then we want to set background clip set to the padding box. So I want the black background to stop at the edge of the padding. I don't want the background to be all the way out underneath the border. Okay, so we have that. Now this is actually created, there is, you can't see it here, but there is a transparent border around here. But that's forcing the other area with the linear gradient, that's forced inside of here. So to expand the thing that's sitting in behind, what we're going to do here is we're going to set our margin on this element to negative five pixels. If I did positive five pixels, that's going to push it in towards the center and away from the border. 
by doing a negative 5, I'm pulling it outside. These zero values say, go right to the edge of the content box for the parent element. And now we're stretching this out five pixels beyond that point. And there we have it. There is our linear gradient. And it looks like it's just on the border. Now, you can do this sort of thing as well. If you've got uh, an image that has a gradient in it, you can put that in behind there. And it will work and it will look just like this. The problem that we have is I can't round the corners with an image, but here we can. So we can come up to the parent and say, you know what, I'm going to put the border radius. Let's just set it to one REM. My one REM size is the font size in the body here. That's 20 pixels. So that's what I'm setting the radius to. And then down inside of here, I can put the same one. We want to have the same radius on the inside and the outside. And I can either write one REM or we can write inherit. So it's going to take whatever the parent has. And there we are. Now we've got linear gradient and a linear gradient that we can round the corners if we want. All right. So I hope that helps you out. Um, I'll leave a copy of this code in a code gist linked to in the description down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.